Hello and welcome back to Wild Sun Art Studio. My name is Robinson and we are here to make more postcards across the COVID miles. Now just in case you're watching this video and we, the planet, has figured out COVID, postcards are great to send any old time. You don't have to have a pandemic in order to send them. They're really fun just to say I love you. So today we are working on, this is a collage board. Everybody calls them that. I call these a color collage board because I've made several and they're all color specific. So this red one has this really cool embroidered ribbon. It has a sticker. It has letters, sticky letters. It has down here, there's some washi tape, more washi tape, some cutouts, some um, punches, you know, a, a paper punch. There's another one. There's some um, paper cuts like that. And here's my yellow one. And I mixed in a little orange just to give it a little oomph. There's some brownishy colors in here too. There are scrapbooking papers. There is, I made my own paper. This is kind of like a book page, only I wanted it to use words that I really liked. So this one says, love and friendship. Um, so some more cutouts and paper punches and shapes and paper cuts. Here is my brownishy, tannishy board um, with scrapbooking paper, paper cuts, cutouts. There's even this um, bow. This is raffia that I um, sort of unwound and tied into a bow. I think there's some drawings on that picture too. And this one's really full of lots of paper cuts and I like how that worked. And so there's some um, scrapbooking papers and purple. And down here at the bottom, these are these little paper slivers that I tied into a knot and glued on the board. And there's another one of the crown um, paper punches and stars and paper cuts and scrapbooking paper and on and on. So these are the boards and what I do with these is I put these in my copier and I printed out a bunch of pages. I've already started cutting up the pages. There's that raffia bow um, that I copied and um, this is photo paper. You can tell it's kind of shiny. Uh, I really like how the color takes on photo paper. It wasn't taking on regular cardstock very well. So these are all color copies. And one of the things that I did with just these color pages is I um, cut out four by six um, shapes. And this is my, a uh, couple of videos ago, we made some backers for the um, postcards, which this is done on, on cardstock and it just gives a little extra strength to the um, postcard. When you put them through the mail, they can only be a 16th of an inch at least that's true in the United States, um, 16th of an inch deep. So you can't put a lot of layers, but an extra layer of cardstock for the backer is fine. So I could cut out the backer and glue this on the other side, of course, um, and just send it through like this. I could, where are they? I could add a word 
Um, this red one actually, can you see that it says love right there? Um, these were sticky letters that I had, which is really fun. Um, oh, I know the one I wanted to use there. Wish upon a star. So you can add words and just glue it down, you know, really carefully. Um, make sure your glue, glue goes all the way to the edges. So that's another idea. Um, but as I got to thinking about putting more and more things, this is what I was doing in last night's video, uh, putting more things on top of the postcards, um, and I got into making all these paper cuts to put on top. It's really hard to put glue on every part of this thin, thin paper without making the paper, you know how glue is really wet, and without making it all warbly. So I have this um, art glitter glue bottle, which is actually... This, the real art glitter glue, is made to um, adhere plastic things like glitter um, to paper. And so the real art glitter is a little bit strong. Um, it's a little less watery and wet, even though it's a water-based glue. Um, it's, it's a little, got more gumption. Um, so I do so much gluing with just these little thin papers onto other pieces of paper. And I don't need that much gumption um, in my glue. And so I started filling this bottle, which is A, really comfortable in my hand, and B, it has this wonderful little skinny tip um, nozzle on the bottle. So that's really great when I'm trying to you know, glue these little skinny lines of the paper cuts. Um, I don't get too much glue on. So that's perfect. If you don't have this, use a toothpick and a little puddle of glue on a spare piece of paper. But if you do have one of these thin nozzle bottles, and we were talking about this in my art group the other day, um, there are options. People make this kind of bottle. Um, I don't know where to find them yet, so I don't know where to send you, but there are other options besides this bottle. But this bottle ha just has Elmer's glue all, not the school glue, that's too wet and watery. Glue all is um, a better glue. It's got a little more thickness and hold and a little less water. And this has way more thickness and hold, but it's also lots more expensive than that. So, um, so when I was thinking about putting paper cuts onto these cards, I thought, well, I don't want to hold it down with just glue, which you can probably get away with covering this with glue and, and squishing it down and really getting it to stay and it won't pop off as, as the mail gets handled. But, um... Something that's this lacy that can't stand as much glue, and it's also, yeah, it would probably rip going through the mail. So when I was thinking about adding a, a paper cut, let's get this, you can really see it. Um, I, I was trying to think about how to get it glued down and I found this great stuff. Wait a minute, here it is. I found this just at a big box store um, like back in office supplies, which I didn't really understand, but that's where it was. Uh, this is the company is Duck. They make duck taped, not duct tape, but duck tape. Anyway, they also make this clear liner stuff. Um, yeah, let's let it shine. Uh, yeah, so it was a little roll and it cost, I don't know, three or five dollars or something. It wasn't very expensive. And um, you just 
um, you know, peel it off uh, so you could cut more or less the size that you need and then peel it off and stick this on. So this is a great idea. It's not super sticky. And if you wanted something that was could really make it through the mail with um, a little less problems, um, I suggest packing tape, which I have also used. Now this card just has one paper cut on top of the, the color board, the yellow color board. This, these three, do you see in this corner how the color is kind of streaky? I tried making a copy. It was A on the wrong paper and B my blue cartridge needed to be replaced. So the, the color copy, the printout was um, all, you know, um, grainy and stripy. And I didn't want to throw it away, and I thought, oh, what if I put a whole bunch of paper cuts on top? So, um, yeah, I just did that. Is that how it went? No, it went like this. And it went like this. So that was my setup, and... I took one of my um, postcard backing sheets, you know, long, long, sideways, long, long, sideways. And I just, I put lots of paper cuts down and I put them like on top of each other, kind of. And every time I put one down, I would take a couple of strips of packing tape and put this over. Um, you'll notice that, let me show you this thing that it does because there's a way around this. I'll move that back a little. So when you have, tell you what, let's see if we can magnify ourselves. So there's the paper cut. Here's the piece of card. Actually, let me get another one. I'm here, it did not go away. I was thinking I'd use a color. So here's the card. If I try to put this on the um, card with tape, watch what happens. Whoops, I'm out of line. Watch what happens to the paper cut. See how it kind of jumps up to the tape? There's some static electricity in there. So let it jump. Um, it's now kind of flat in position. And then we can kind of press it down with our fingers to make sure that it's um, down and very carefully not to go in and catch one of the parts that um, hasn't been adhered yet. But take your... Um, bone folder and try to push from the middle out sorry for my squeaky table um, try to get all that those air bubbles out and then so this is how I made these postcards without that put another layer of tape down. Try to kind of press out the air bubbles. So this is the trick with packing tape. 
um, is that every time you put down a piece of tape, you need to re-burnish it with the um, bone folder. So you just keep doing that and then once you get that layer all I need another piece of tape there for this top part um, and then I could add you know another and I could do it so that they butt edges or so that it was right on top or it was kind of cattywampus yeah so you can do anything you want with these but anyway jump back out a little bit so um yes this is our many paper cuts version this is our single paper cuts version and I liked this many paper cuts version so much that I wanted to do it again and this one yeah there are none of those sort of lines and um, streaks that you get from packing tape. So this is more of this laminate stuff. And what I did with these was... Um, la, 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 la. So I did the same setup of two long and one upright. Um, and... I started by gluing down the yellow paper cuts on the base of the page and I used this glue with its little tiny nozzle so that I could really get the glue exactly where I wanted it to go. So here I think this one. Um, first I put down the yellow ones and I glued them all down and then right on top of that I did the pale green there's one there and a corner of one there and another corner of one there. And then I put down, I think the, the dark green and then I put a light blue and the dark blue over that. So that was fun. And then I just took a great big sheet of the plastic and put it on the whole page and it didn't um, make the paper cuts jump off the page and come towards the static electricity of the plastic paper because I had already glued everything down. Um, so yeah, then I got three more postcards out of that. Ta-da! And then, this actually I did in the beginning, but I sort of saved these for last. Um, I cut out a heart, um, from the red color board, and this was my four by six purple card that I made, and I did a backer with it, and then I glued this on lightly, and then, all right, where's the shine, there's the shine, so um, then I, I put the laminate paper on top of that. And for this one, I cut out a yellow star from the yellow color board and glued it onto the blue 4x6 color board. And all together, the, the backer, the blue photocopy, the yellow photocopy, and the um, plastic laminate stuff makes a pretty sturdy card so I'm feeling confident that that will make it through the mail in one piece and nothing will fall off. So there we go. All these great fantastic cards. So um, let's put these on top. So a blessing for us today is may we have 
courage and playfulness and, you know, kind of try lots of different things. And um, I wish you lots of success and lots of fun and courage. Alrighty then. Well, have fun with this. Um, you could cut out, yeah, anything. It doesn't have to be, you can do big shapes. You can do little fine shapes. You could cut out gingerbread people and put them on these. Anything you want. So have fun with your experimenting. All right. And I will see you next time with more postcard ideas. Bye.